Hey, greetings everybody. This is Mike. I'm coming to you from Samurai Geek Designs over here now. We are now located at 2003 South Zarzamora. We still have the other shop open for now. Uh, I'm really trying to finish out some projects and really uh, trying to use that time to let everybody know that we're, we are in fact moving out of the mall. Um, trying to reassure everybody far, far First and foremost, that we are not closing, uh, we are not shutting down, we are just moving. Uh, hopefully to uh, bigger and brighter horizons, but uh, we've really hit the ground running here. We haven't had a chance to, to get the shop uh, aesthetically looking like a shop right now. Right now, basically, I'm set up on a, uh, on a fold-out table with my computer and uh, my wife is set up right across from me. But as usual, I have blown up across the table. <laughs> so uh, we have had a lot of things going on here so far. Uh, we will be, again, uh, the format of our Facebook page is going to be changing where we're just going to be featuring the uh, completed builds. Uh, we're going to start taking a little bit more time with the, uh, with the pictures if we can. Uh, because uh, typically, again, I'm usually finishing, I'm putting final touches on these, some of these models uh, probably maybe 10, 15 minutes before people show up at times. But uh, I'm trying to get better about that. And here at the new shop, I have the ability to work uh, like I used to. Um, I haven't had the chance to work uh, professionally on models here uh, at, a, at a home studio, but... Um, Pretty soon we're going to be up and running as a full-fledged business uh, again. Uh, primarily uh, focusing on small business branding here in San Antonio. We're, uh, we're, we, uh, we are really trying to uh, increase our profile online and uh, again, only finished pictures of finished models of for customers, uh, we will be featuring a lot of the work that we do here in the shop anyway. Uh, but we are also going to be concentrating more on the graphic design and the artwork that, that I do. So expect to see uh, more pinup artwork and uh, all of the logo designs of, for all the customers that we are, uh, are grabbing, uh, we, that we've had over the last two years that I really haven't pushed on the page uh, itself, but uh, we do a lot of good work. <laughs> I can say that now because that's what, that's what our customers are beginning to tell us is that we uh, we do good work. We are not the cheapest on the block, but we aren't we aren't the most expensive uh, in the city as well. So uh, we've got a few things working for us. Anyway, with all of the uh, with all of that out of the way, uh, let me just get started on this guy here. This is the 1701-D uh, Enterprise, but what we are showing off today is the the work that I've been doing here on the dish, and this is all just mica powder that I've uh, got in there, and it's not. It's really picking up the light kind of in a speckly uh, way, but I assure you it's not like that. But what this is uh, primarily meant to do is just give the illusion of a lit haze in there. Come on. So there with the natural light uh, catching, that's what uh, it's going to look like in there. And then with the uh, the dish, come on. And with the dish uh, set in there, that's really going to give it a contrast to uh, to stand out on. Uh, so hopefully this will look pretty good. Uh, I've already kind of fit the clear part on there, and it looks pretty good. I just have to start painting that part so it can be fit in there. I got to do all the trim work uh, here along the uh, the edge of the uh, radar dish, or what is what is that? I don't know. Uh, so, um, ooh, excuse me, didn't mean to do that to you guys. Uh, but more on this guy, this piece is going to start getting decaled and I still need to fix some of the seams right here along the, uh, this, this edge here along the neck. 
Uh, there are a few more things that I need to address before I move on to the decaling, but uh, this part right here definitely needs to be sealed off and uh, touched up just a little bit more just to finish off the the look for it. But uh, here we are. I've got the saucer section as well. And if you're going to use the decals, just go ahead and sand off all of that raised detail because none of it registers correctly. Uh, I don't think it's really going to matter once once the lifeboats are on there, but um, I have to go back in and retouch a lot of these little areas in here in these windows. Uh, some of the decals didn't set in there quite the way I wanted them to, so you got a little bubble there that I need to fix. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much where we're at. Bottom, I'm still kind of stalled out. I haven't uh, been able to come back to this one for a couple of days, but... I'm going to finish out the bottom decaling here. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to start working on marrying this this saucer section to the uh, the neck here. And uh, that's been a little problematic. There's been a bit of a fit issue. Uh, I have a gap. So I'm thinking, if I can do this. Screw it. Um, <laughs> I'm basically thinking of cutting off those little tabs right there because I don't know, I just can't seem to get a good fit along that that inside edge right there and I get a fat seam along this section right here. So um, still working on that, still working on getting a few other uh, pieces done. Uh, we are working on getting this one done for gravity damage uh, the new shop coming to San Antonio more on this one later uh, more on a pod racer and a Naboo starfighter as well as well as the flying sub which I finally got the photo etch on the computer panels all of that most of that is done and I'm gonna start getting that whole cockpit piece together and uh, working on getting those uh, resin figures to fit on those chairs and hopefully start getting the wiring inside done and that one's going to be a bit more of a challenge uh, than the antenna controls because this one is a true do-it-yourself wiring kit so um, I'm going to be calling my superhero friend Skip Harrison uh, to come uh, check, check my work before I marry that one up but you guys take care, have fun I have rambled on long enough already uh, it's a lot better to be in a home studio now. Uh, I gotta quit calling this a home studio because this is just gonna start sounding like I'm working back in my garage again, and I am not. We are actually going to be open for business. There's gonna be some signage up on our doors. We're getting a street sign very similar, similar to my neighbor Ryan, who, uh, who has a big wooden street sign out there. We're also gonna be having a few aluminum signs set up along the face of the uh, the building so you'll be able to see us from the street but uh, more on that one later we're also gonna be uh, painting the walls here we're gonna be setting up uh, work workstations and uh, this whole pile right here and that folding chair is gonna be gone for sure but um, this is a visual representation of all of the work that we've got going right now these are all customer builds. These are work for uh, for some new clients that we're going to be doing. We're working in partnership with uh, to display model kits. And uh, that big Millennium Falcon that belongs to uh, Tim, and uh, that one's going to be busted open later on today, so we can start looking at uh, the inside, so we can get the wiring done. Uh, so uh, big update on that big giant. Hasbro Falcon pretty soon so you guys take care have fun peace out and happy modeling